and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Professor Taskmaster. This is going to be our first meme tier deck today. Uh, didn't have the stream yesterday, so I was kind of changing the setup a little bit. Um, but we're going to be going to the meme tier day today on a Tuesday. Uh, we got four pretty sweet decks, um, all of them with Bilgewater. Actually, yeah, a bunch of Bilgewater. Um, but, you know, going on the, the meme tier part of Bilgewater. We got a Jagged Taskmaster deck to start us off. Um, this is now going to be a two drop. Plunder, of course, grant one drop allies everywhere, one cost allies everywhere, plus one, plus zero, combining that with Professor Von Yip. Whenever we summon a one cost ally, grant it plus two, plus two. So with the help of professor, our Professor and the Taskmaster, um, we can give our one cost allies huge bonuses. And we got a bunch of those. We got our Poro Cannons to make two Daring Poros. We have Daring Poros, Jagged Butcher, Jur Jury Rig, Pool Shark, Prowling Cutthroat, Teemo, Lots and lots of one mana cards. And since we have so many one mana cards, that means we're going to be emptying our hand pretty quickly because our cards don't cost very much. So we need to refill. And that's where Jinx comes into play because if we empty our hand, then Jinx can start drawing two cards a turn, can create some super mega death rockets for us. We also have a couple of top end cards to refill with Augmented Experimenter and then Chief Mechanist Zevi as well. All right, so that's our deck. Um, let's go ahead and play some games. For the meme tier day, we're just going to be playing over in normal instead of in ranked. And we're going to be playing our five games, though, like always, and we'll see how we do. All right, we got Trundle, Aurelian Soul. So they're going to be going big. We're going to try to go underneath them. Hopefully they won't be using too many sweepers. Um, I kind of like this hand. I only have the one one drop for now. I do kind of like how Double Trouble... Let's just keep this hand. Maybe I should just be mulliganing the Augmented Experimenters in our opener, but I'm expecting this game to go longer. And so since I'm expecting this game to go longer, I'm going to want some powerful cards like Jinx, like Augmented Experimenter. And I do like how Double Trouble can put a lot of pressure on them. Um, yet only be one card. The dead don't need riches. I don't know. Okay, cool. So maybe I should have played the Daring Poro. Also... Welcome to the tipsy It's a fine day for murder! Plenty still to go round, boss. I probably should have just played this. The previous turn on turn two. But yeah, still gotta be worried about Avalanche. Find humans, make them flat. Okay, less worried about Avalanche now. <laughs> right there. Ain't you a looker? Who's gonna close up? Ugh. All right, take care, Nightcrawler. Thanks for stopping by. Well, let's go to attacks. To get rich. No and then we're going to try to get excited, kill this troll ravager. We got another one just in case. All right, good. Well, they didn't have another troll chance. I make shepherding look easy. Ugh. Sorry, Poro Cannon. You're gonna be discarded. What's the worst that could happen? All right, leveled up Jinx. Without a little risk. I'll give you to the counter. Right there. So that's definitely good. Ooh. We 
got our namesake cards. Professor, Taskmaster. Stand back. <laughs> QQ! Joining in from work. Thank you so much, QQ. Thanks for the sub. Okay, so we can we can do quite a bit of damage, elusive damage right now. Yeah, I wish we could keep going wider than what than what we're allowed to. Um, well, let's just let's just do that. Let's just do this. They look angry. You got a problem? Alright, down to 11. We're gonna play the Taskmaster while we have that turned on. Alright, we'll play one of these. Could just wait on both of them. I don't know, I kind of like getting them in play. I should have waited for the second Vanya, if you think. Perhaps we should pause for thought. I walked into that. Mega Avalanche! Oh, I walked into that. I was just worried about a Avalanche and not Icequake. This is gonna be fun. Well, that Bastion doesn't do anything. Got me. Two, three, four. Yeah, I played into that. Do you think that Ash Thresh could be a good meta counter? The answer is yes, somewhere. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what you'd really be countering with Ash Thresh. So I guess no. Oh, that's my favorite too. Yeah, I was. I was not playing into Avalanche, but I did play into Icequake. Should have waited. But now, I'm not that confident in us winning a real late game, and so we're just going to be playing. Uh, playing into everything now, trying to get the damage across. Cross the sky at night, best beware serpent's bite. There we go. Good mystic shot. Do half the damage we need. Wow, Trundle's not attacking. How does that even make sense? You dream it, I'll build. Trundle's not attacking. No reason for us to play jury rig right now. Oh no. Get out here. Ugh. We were so close. I and you, you and me, we'll rule the world. And I thought Vitalizing Roar. We were so close. At my creations. I don't think there is like an anti meta attack. I mean there's the meta is like there's a lot of aggro, there's a lot of you know, like, there's a lot of like build water plus Noxus aggro, but then there's also a lot of like this kind of deck, and they're those are completely different decks. There isn't just like an one deck that would be good against everything. Hey there, don't mind the knife. Why did they just play that first? I got 
Yeah, that, that Ice Quake was the devastating card, of course. So we get Teemo and Jury Rig attacking turn one. This is a good looking hand. This would be a great hand to draw either Professor Von Yip or Jagged Taskmaster. Either one. Pump up all these one drops. Okay, there we go. And playing the Daring Poros they know about, of course. Want to play those first. Drawing the Puff Cap to turn on the Taskmaster is so good. So we can play that free combat. So since we're playing that free combat, let's just play another Daring Poro here. That's alright, they're going to be able to do that anyway because it's going to play this first. Alright, GG's. There we go. Yeah, that mushroom was perfect. The mushroom was exactly what we wanted. Sure, Avalanche would have wrecked us, but I don't think they're an Avalanche deck. Alright. Uh, we got the Taskmaster. This just looks all good to me. We'll start with the Cutthroat. And basically, we can kind of we can wait on the portal cannon to see if there's something else that uh, we draw that we don't really need that then we can discard. We don't need to do this right away. But we're gonna just attack for one. Open wide, sugar. And try to taskmaster. Good. Good. No vile feast or anything like that. House bottom. I like how they're getting these. You know, just a bunch of little blockers, but they don't block elusives. That is good for me. I must get out of here. Alright, so I know I'm doing that. play one of these or not. This is definitely a deck that's going to have some sweepers with like avalanche and stuff. All right, maybe we play around sweepers a little bit more. You won't feel it first. It's bad news right there. Bad news. Lady Elise, where are you? I'm just gonna pass. Cause we're gonna draw Professor Von Yip. Almost. No, 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 no. Don't really know what this thing's gonna do besides block these. I don't know. We can wait on that. That gives me an easier card to discard to get excited, but I was planning on just discarding the Jagged Taskmaster. Come on. The withering Whales are killing me. Literally. Warm hearts and hot soup. <laughs> My opponent's like playing the the anti deck here. They're so happy to run into us. Forever watch. Yeah, like that card's perfect against me. Yeah, they're so happy to be playing against us. I must get out of 
here. Can't win them all, eh? Oh, no, can't win them all. Doesn't seem like we really have anything to do besides just unload our hand and play Jinx. So that's all we're going to do. Um, I guess we're going to Mystic Shot the Anivia. Um, I wanted to see if maybe we'd, we'd Mystic Shot them instead of just playing the Jagged Butcher right away. We'll have Jinx leveled up if we draw another one. But this should be over now. So, Kaba, you think they only have two Withering Whales in the entire list? Well, that's really unfortunate. They had both of them. Another sweeper deck. So the Shadow Owls version, because like this deck's gonna be playing Whale and Avalanche and Icequake. Yuck. Alright, we're gonna mulligan that other one drop because we're gonna need to find some more power. Good. Von Yip will help out the one drops. My opponents are making life miserable. <laughs> they just don't they just don't want to have any fun. No fun allowed. Like this? Oh, I see. Playing Jinx and Pool Shark. Ice to me. Ah! Where do you stand on cold shots? I don't know. So like my my best play would be attacking with Jinx. They block with Trundle, and I get excited and kill the Trundle. There's so many ways they can disrupt that, but that would be my best play. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the drought. No kidding. I mean, does anybody think that that would actually work? Like, get excited killing this trundle? Like, that probably doesn't actually work, right? Can't imagine it would. Can't imagine they wouldn't just, like, grasp the undying the jinx, or have a troll chant or anything. There's plenty of killing left. We play in build rules, son? Yeah, there's no way that would have worked. Smash! 
All right, we're going to try this to get excited here. And if this doesn't work, I have Augmented Experimenter to do 3 damage still to the Trundle. So hoping this combination of 10 total damage we can do to the Trundle is going to get rid of it. Everyone goes boom! Oh wow, maybe it would have worked. Maybe. I'm on the verge of something. Could be a second trundle, sure. Is that their first card played this turn? No, they played the Ice Pillar, right. Got me. Immerse yourself in the Got removal and ramp. Just play removal, ramp, and a trundle. That's all you need to do. We got them down all the way down to seventeen. Yay, something different. We have these decks that are just all Withering Whales and Avalanche and Ice Quake and Vile Feast, Grass the Undying, and then play Trundle. That's miserable. Alright, so yeah, we're playing against Nightfall Jinx. I like Nightfall Jinx, it's a cool deck. We got our one drop, we got our Mystic Shot on turn two, we got our Get Excited on turn three. Talk to get rich. Tis a fine day for what do you mean? Plenty still to go round, boss. Okay, so it's not my version of Nightfall Jinx. Whatever the cost. Ooh. All right, I'm going to try to hit them with this Teemo. Try to do. Could discard Teemo and make two Daring Poros and just have double Daring Poro instead of Teemo. Alright, so they've passed. Poor Teemo. Let's get to it. And jury rig creatures will just trade for each other if they want. Blocking with the O2 on the 2 1? That doesn't make any sense. Concentration. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. All right, so we're gonna be unloading our hand. Oh, 
that you got there? <laughs> I should have let them attack first. Those two pill cascades were both very good. That card is just amazing. So we have the better board right now, but they got a lot of stuff in hand. Yeah, now they're looking pretty good. as much damage as we can in with playing all this stuff out before combat. Um, yeah, this this deck doesn't really need Fizz. It's got plenty of, of one mana things. This deck needs a, a better late game, and Jinx, Jinx gives you a better late game than what Fizz does. It needs the card advantage as we see here. We need to be able to draw more cards. That's what Jinx can do. This isn't really necessary in this deck. I should have waited before playing the Jinx. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Ouch. Celestial power. Oh, you three. Win them all, eh? More ouch. Alright, we need a top, top end card. We need to draw Jinx. I should not play that, by the way, because I could just draw Professor Von Yip. I shouldn't play that. There's there's no reason to play that. I have all this, this extra mana I'm going to have anyway. Puts him down to three. They forced us to choose death or flight. Must we fight? I like Lee Sin Tarek more than Lee Sin uh, Zed, in my opinion. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Crystal. Lee Sin Tarek has been my favorite Lee Sin deck. Still lethal, so I guess I have to block the Lunari Shade Stalker. No, obviously, I don't want to. Nightfall Jinx getting us. Our deck did not look good. Our deck need, needed a lot more top end and a lot more card advantage. Um, you know, basically, like the the aggro ness of our deck was ev easily offset. Like people were able to stabilize pretty quickly, and um, everybody was able to kill Jinx <clears throat> right away. And with just having three Jinx, two Augmented Experimenter, two Zevi, 
it was it just wasn't nearly enough card advantage. Um, and you know the augmented experimenter would draw us three cards, but these cards just aren't aren't very good on their own. I guess pool sharks in there, and so we need a whole lot more card advantage and a whole lot better late game. We just ran out of cards turn turn five all the time, and and my opponents were just killing us with just such much more powerful stuff. Uh, never, you know, like I I drew Professor Von Yips what like one, I guess two games. One game it was just killed immediately. The other game they got ice quaked. I mean, I didn't I didn't necessarily play the absolute best. I didn't play perfectly, but it was still just pretty rough. Um, I mean, I don't know if just like having a bunch more experimenters and a bunch more progress days, maybe that's the way to go. Like. Maybe instead of Yev Zevi of like this deck just needs so many more cards than what you're able to get. But yeah, rough rough start. Um, but that's okay. It's meme tier day. We're gonna uh, go ahead and play some different decks and try those out. So um, there we go. That's Professor Taskmaster. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there um, and feel free to leave any comments. Um, any about anything. I always appreciate those as well. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.